going forward. Good shot by Steve Rolls right there, landing a good right hand on Golovkin. And a hook as well. Steve Rolls moving forward with a little more confidence now here in round two. Answers back now with his own combination. Fires out and lands a left hand. Good jab by Rolls after the right. Good scoring shot by the Canadian. And a right hand as well. You have to like what you see from Rolls here, Sergio. Oh, yeah. And here is something we don't see that often is that man right there, Golovkin, getting hit. Grazing right hand. It was that left hook that really shook up Golovkin. But it was this punch right here that snapped his head back. It was the right hand, but the left jab that snapped Golovkin's head back. Rolls keeping that jab out. His corner is yelling to him. You need that jab. And when he throws that jab out there, it at least stalls the Ooh. offense. There's a right hand by Rolls. Stalls good. the offense by Golovkin. That was a nice counter right. That was a really good counter right by Rolls. We're going to have to really start paying attention to these rounds and how they're scored. You wonder if Rolls is able to win these rounds. That was a good body shot. And again, a right hand by Golovkin. Golovkin has also landed. There's no question. Golovkin built his reputation knockout by knockout. 23 in a row between 2008 and 2017. Look it out. There you go. You want to fight? Sit there and fight me. You want to fight? Keep going. Let's go. Let's go. Rolls' corner is saying if you want to fight, you got to fight. You got to fight. Every 10 second stanza of every minute of every round to hang with Triple G. That buckled it there. That's the same shot that hurt Marco Antonio Rubio. Golovkin now backs up, and yes, a right hand to the head. Rolls does look rock. Hooked to the head as well, and he's hurt. Rolls tries to fire back, but he's on wobbly legs. And he, he misses that hook, and a right hand over the top. That hook landed, and down goes Rolls in a heat. This might be over already. This fight is over. His right Six, arm is pinned down. Seven, Rolls looks up. Eight, nine, he's out. There's your answer. Triple G sends a message to Canelo in sudden fashion. And here's that shot that I told you about. That was a chopping right hand that he landed on Marco Antonio Rubio. It's an awkward punch coming from a different trajectory from top to bottom. But that rock rolls right there because he didn't expect that coming. You don't often see someone throw a hook from that angle, Sergio. No, you don't, but that's what he had to do. And he did it with Rubio when he fought him at the stop hub. And boom, there's that left hook. And when a fighter falls face down to the canvas like that, you know the fight is over. His right arm and shoulder were just disconnected from his body. Underneath his body, pinned down there. Rolls did everything he could to try to regain his composure. Really just regain his senses. Fought to get back up, but did not get back up in town. The right hand, and then that vicious hook. There it is, top of the head again. Body shot. Fires back, but he's wobbly. And you see the patience of Golovkin, and there you go. Measured, always poised, always balanced. It was the left hand from the southpaw stance that Golovkin landed with. It all started with that chopping left hook that came from up to bottom, rock. Steve rolls right there, and it was chopping right hands to behind the ear. Well, you have to respect this man. And right at the moment, you wonder, hey, wait a second. He is 37. He is 160 pounds. Is he old? Has he lost a little bit of the energy? Has he lost the greatness? And there's your answer. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes officially. Two minutes, nine seconds, round number four. Referee Steve Willis puts a halt to this bout for your winner by KO Victory from Karaganda, Kazakhstan, Triple